What's up guys? Uh, just finished up our morning trip. It was a real solid trip. Got on a good uh, snapper grunt group bite first thing in the morning and came in and did a little bit of snook fishing. Pretty good bite. We got some uh, we got some bait left and some daylight left. So we're gonna go do a little bit of fishing and scouting. So y'all uh, y'all hang in there and stay tuned. Let's go. We'll see y'all out there. Let's go. Let's go. It's a good thing our chum, when we were looking, oh my gosh, look at that boy. The 3-3 three, three rule, three feet in three seconds, let's see. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, he hit it. Oh, he missed it. Still chasing it. <coughs> look at the size of these mullets sitting right here. See, Some that fish popped. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, Fish. come on, come on, come on, come on, oh. Oh, man. He's on, he's off. He's gone. He's been working those bushes. I'm trying. He's going to baby me. Look, when he goes for the bushes, hold that rod down. Rod tip low so you get him away from the bushes. Because those mangroves, a lot of them, I mean, it looks it looks like a, a tangled mess, but a lot of them are just touching the water. So if you hold that rod tip low, you got a lot better chance of getting him out. Then once you get him out, rod back up. Good to go. About time you caught something. Hey, I was getting there. <laughs> I was just, uh. You hold out for that one? Holding out for this specific one. Look at him. I got you. Yeah. See, he's got this. Uh, I was gonna say he's nice and pure and uncut, uncut, uncaught, not uncooked. Of course he's uncooked. Yeah. He's still alive. No, he's still got some. Does he have some damage? He's got some spots on him. Oh man. Show, let me see the spots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the old red, red spots. Uh, Obviously he was uncooked. He swam away. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, another one. Yeah, he's deep in the bushes. Oh my god! Holy cow! Rod tip low. Rod down. Oh, he got me. Did he? he me. Yeah. Let's see if he'll swim out. He may come unhooked. I think he came unhooked. It looks like he came yeah. unhooked. Bushes aren't moving. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, he just broke it. There he went. Yeah, man. Good fish. Nice big red, man. Big red. Lots of love. Big red. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Stay out of there. Let me land you and show them to everybody. And I'll talk about what I did to get you to eat. Make sure you stay low to keep them under those bushes. It's a good red. Get the net? Yep, I gotta grab the net. Just keep him at bay for a minute. Yep. Or he's keeping you at bay, I don't know. <laughs> Whichever one. Okay. Look at that. Real nice fish. Beautiful. All right, heads up. Here we come. Got him. Yes, sir. Whoo! Redfish in a new area. 
Throw him on the deck up here and let me get, get a picture of him and a look at him. That's a pretty red, man. Oh, that's a fat one, dude. All right, so you're better off. This fish swallowed a circle hook. And it's not real deep, but it's deep enough that I'm gonna do more damage taking it out than I am leaving it in. Cut your line as close as you can. Survival chances are a lot better. Let's get a look at him. That's a nice red, bud. Got some slime line there. Love that spot. Always check the spot too, because you never know. Yeah, this one doesn't make anything, but that's a good fish. Give him a second to breathe. He just he just fought like, I mean, it'd be the same thing as us running five miles. Oh, and they'll go like that when they're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I did different there. We're fishing the same area we were fishing a little while ago catching snook. Um, snook are busting all over the flat to the left. We're real tight the mangroves. What I did different was I still had the same hook, same leader. I added a split shot about three inches up above the hook. You can slide that all the way down to the top. It doesn't really matter. And then what I did, and if you're squeamish, you might want to look away. Believe it or not, I think it makes a difference. Sometimes we take scissors and cut the tails off, but I don't think that looks natural. So, like I said, if you're squeamish, look away. All right. <laughs> so now, believe it or not, that really doesn't even taste like fish. So now I have a tail with no bait. A bait a, with no tail. A I'm, tail is bait. <laughs> I, I ta yeah, I have a bait with no tail. All right? And I'm going to belly hook him, which is going to make him struggle to swim up. But, clear my barb. But, with no tail and this split shot on there, this guy's not going to move. So instead of casting out onto the flat where the snook were busting, I pitched him up in one of these holes in the mangroves, a little bit deeper shoreline. And when I pitch him in there, he's there. Don't try to fish him. Don't try to pull him out. Leave him in the bushes. As long as you're not hung up, leave him in the bushes and he will stay where you put him. And more than likely, if there's a red on that shoreline, that's what he's going to suck up right there. I know it's not, not pretty, but... And like I said, I, I, I think it makes a difference sometimes biting the tail off. Uh, that's the way I prefer to do it. And if you do that, you will catch more redfish. The longer you keep your bait up under those bushes, the more reds you're going to catch. Because they are, if you know they're in the area, other people are catching them, you just can't figure it out, find deeper shorelines on high tide, pitch it in the bushes with a split shot, no tail. It can be white bait, greenbacks, pinfish. Take that tail off and he will not swim out. As soon as he swims out, you're done. So keep him on there as long as you can. You'll catch more redfish. We found some fish that we didn't know were, were there, man. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness, if you guys have any questions, need any suggestions, or if you have any suggestions, not that oh, not a bad fish. Um, give me a call. Give me a call.